It's more than just a story of a bad guy who's not really a bad guy and a kind sweet girl who actually understands him. It's one of the best rom-com manga that is now getting animated. Don't judge a book by its cover as they say, but in this case we have Don't judge a person by the school they attend. The Fragrant Flower Blooms with Dignity is a manga series written and illustrated by Saka Mikami. The story revolves around Rin Taro, a delinquent student from the underperforming Chidori Public High School, and Kaoruko, a kind-hearted honor student from the reputable Kikyo Private Academy. Because of the difference in the reputation of their schools, the students also seem to hate each other. And the funny part is that their buildings are literally right next to each other. The main character, Rin Taro, is a kind-hearted individual with blonde hairs and piercing, who's used to being looked down upon by others because his face alone scares people away. He's tall and looks somewhat fearless, and our female lead, Karuko, is a scholarship student who is basically a beam of light with her brown hairs and bubble-like personality. One day, she stumbles upon him at a cake shop owned by his mother, where he sometimes helps out, though he doesn't really tell anyone about it. And it's the same shop where Karuko secretly eats cake without being judged by others. They come across each other while she was really enjoying her sweets, and she ran away from the shop. He thinks it's because she got scared of him, but that's not the reason. As Karuko returns to the shop the next day to apologize for her reaction, it's a bit awkward, funny, and somewhat sweet. But from this moment on, their lives are intertwined. And just as their story begins, so does the people's opinion about them. Many people around them start to get in their way. His friends get mad at him. Her friends straight up told Rintaro to stop seeing her because both of the school students and teachers despise each other, while others try to use Karukos to rile him in and start a fight. Yet in just few chapters, they find themselves falling in love. But can people of two different worlds be together? Romeo and Juliet might not agree, but then again, not everything have to be traumatic. The story did make my heart flutter for many reasons and them being just so cute together is one of them. And what truly makes this story stand out is how it shows Rintaru and Kaoruko's growth as individuals and as a couple. For Rintaru, Kaoruko is the first person who is kind to him without expecting anything in return. She is the first person to thank him and the first person who sees beyond his rough appearance and school reputation. The connection between them feels genuine and organic, not forced or superficial, which makes it all more heartwarming to see them get closer. Also, in a way, it will surely remind you of Izumi Miyamura, with the main lead struggling with being accepted and continuously putting himself down for his appearance, not to mention that his family also owns a bakery. But I'm telling you, it's way more than just this. The manga shows the struggle of carrying a burden of social expectations, fear of family disappointment, and overall high school insecurities that could be very relatable at times. Other than the main lead, the side characters, their friends, and even parents have something to offer. And I have to say, the art style of the manga was pretty good. The characters are beautifully drawn, with expressive faces that perfectly capture their emotions. Whether it's Rintaru's awkwardness or Kaoruko's radiant optimism. And when I first read the manga a year ago, I never imagined that it would get an anime adaptation. But here we are. So I'm super excited. The anime adaptation is set to be released in 2025 and the trailer is out already. The anime looks absolutely stunning. Cloverworks, the same studio that has bought us Horimiya, Spy X Family and have recently produced Windbreaker, which is another delinquent focused story, though it's an action genre. Anyways, they are behind this adaptation. Given their track record, I have no doubt that this anime would be a masterpiece too. Beyond the exciting adaptation, what I love the most about the fragrant flower blooms with dignity is the depth of their story. It's more than just a star-crossed lover. It's about self-discovery, personal growth, and breaking free from the confines of the social expectations. The sunshine and the sunshine protector dynamic between Karuko and Rintro is not only adorable, but also highlights the importance of finding someone who sees you for who you truly are. So tell me who's your favorite sunshine character in any manga or anime, and have you read the fragrant flower blooms with dignity yet? If not, this might be the perfect time to read it, before the anime comes out. Trust me, you won't regret it. Or just wait a little till the anime comes out. Anyways, till then, take care of yourself and goodbye.